There are so many dog-friendly cafes and pubs in Melbourne. A lot of you have been asking what you can be doing to prepare your dog for these settings or how you can encourage more calm behaviour when appropriate. I'm about to go through a few things that you can be doing to prepare your dog ahead of time. Ain't much to do, ain't much to see. The prison cells, at least they have to Start with the basics and train with distractions. Sit, drop, mat, loose lead walking. If your dog can't do this in a very easy environment, they're gonna really struggle doing it in a busy environment like a cafe or a pub. Our training programs have a strong focus on engagement, especially when around other dogs and people. Focus your training on holding your dog's attention, especially where there are distractions that are competing for that attention. Reward early and often to set your dog up for success. Don't teach your dog that everyone is an opportunity for play. I don't walk down the street and high five every person I meet. I also don't walk down the street and punch everyone in the face, right? So we want to set the same expectations up with our dogs. Socialization is also about ignoring other dogs and people. Swap off lead play with other dogs and set up some scenarios where your dog can learn how to regulate its emotions around other dogs and people. The outside of controlled spaces like a fenced in dog park can be a great idea, as can cafes or pubs when your dog is ready for it. The final point I wanna make guys is what you allow at home is what will continue outside of the home. If your dog is doing something that you don't like, such as barking at your guests or demanding attention from you and you wouldn't allow this anywhere else, don't allow it at home. Those of you with kids will get this. What you allow is what will continue. Work smart to turn it around, guys. A dog that can learn to be calm and relaxed when appropriate is a dog that is far more likely to be included more broadly in your lifestyle. If you know anybody that you think could benefit from this advice, please share it with them. If you have any questions, please pop it in the comments. Can't wait to see you guys at the pub with your dogs.